Kenya lifted a 10-year ban on cultivating and importing genetically modified crops in October 2022. However, the move was opposed by lobby groups that went to court on and got an injunction thus broken the implementation of the government decision. The main questions in a critical thinker's mind is, why is the need to take risk with GM crops when effective, readily available and sustainable solutions to problems that GM technology is claimed to address already exist? The government argued that for Kenya to be a food secure country, it must adopt genetically modified crops. They said, for instance, the reduction in corn production in Kenya by that 5% from uh, 2018 to 2022 was due to lack of insect or pest tolerant varieties in the market. However, this was not true. According to a report by FAO, the reduction was primarily caused by the great drought experienced in a similar period. At this month, we are focusing on genetically modified crops, all the common known as GMOs. The sole aim of being to reveal the truth and the myth about genetically modified crops. But first, let's understand what is genetically modified crops and what are they made of? Now, in this series of articles, all these tutorials, it will be based on scientific reports published on GMO myths and truths an evidence-based examination of claims made for safety and efficacy of genetically modified crops. Now, this is a report by Earth Open Science. Do you wonder how genetically modified crops are made? Then, here is the full step-by-step -step guide on how genetically modified crops are made. Genetically modified prominents claim that genetic engineering is just an extension of natural plant breeding. They say that genetically modified crops are not different from naturally bred crops, apart from the inserted fallen genetically modified gene, or what we call the transgene, and its protein product. But this is misleading. Genetically mod mod modified is completely different from natural breeding and poses different risks. Natural breeding can only take place between closely related forms of life, that is, cats with cats, not cats with dogs, or wheat with wheat and not wheat with tomatoes, all in fish. Now, in this way, the genes that carry information for all parts of the organism are passed down the generation in an orderly way. In contrast, genetically modified is a laboratory-based technique that is completely different from natural breeding. Here are the main stages of genetic modification process. Number one, in a process known as tissue culture or said culture, tissue from the plant that is to be genetically modified is placed in the culture. Then the next step, millions of the tissue cultured plant cells are subjected to GM gene insertion process. This results in the GM gene or genes being inserted into the DNA of a few of the plant cells in a tissue culture. The inserted DNA is intended to reprogram the cell's genetic blueprint, conferring completely new properties on the cell. This process would never happen in nature. It is carried out either by using a device known as a gene gun, which shoots the GM gene into the plant cells, or by linking the GM gene to special piece of DNA present in the soil bacterium or agrobacterian tumefaciens. When the A tumefaciens infect a plant, the GM gene is carried into the cells and can be inserted into the plant cells DNA. Then the third step, at this point, in the process, the genetic engineers have tissue culture consisting of hundreds of thousands to millions of plant cells. Some have picked up the GM genes, while others have not. The next step is to treat the culture with chemicals to eliminate all except those cells that have successfully incorporated the genetically modified genes into their DNA. Finally, 
The few cells that survive the chemical section at a glance X genetic engineering is completely different from the natural breeding and entails a different risk. The genetic engineering and associated tissue culture processes are imprecise and highly mutagenic, leading to unpredictable changes in the DNA. Proteins and biochemical compositions of the resulting genetically modified crop that can lead to unexpected toxic or allergic effects and nutritional disturbances. The X food produced by cisgenic or intragenic methods are a hazardous as the any other genetically modified crop. X, it is misleading to compare genetically modified with radiation-induced mutation breeding and to conclude that as crops bred by the later method are not tested for safety or regulated, neither should GM crops be tested or regulated. Radiation-induced mutation breeding is potentially even more mutagenic than the genetically modified and at least as destructive to gene expression and crops produced by this method should be regulated at at least as strict as genetically modified crops. It is unnecessary to take risks with genetically modified when conventional breeding assisted by safe modern gene mapping technology is capable of meeting our crop breeding needs. Genetic modified organism or GMO meats and trust treatments are treated with plant hormones. The hormones stimulated these genetically modified plant cells to proliferate and differentiate into small GM plants that can be transferred to soil and grown on. Once the genetically modified plants are growing, the genetic engineer examines them and eliminates any that do not seem to be growing well. He or she then does test the remaining plants to identify one or more that express the genetically modified genes at the high levels. These are selected as candidates for commercialization. The resulting population of genetically modified plants all carry and express genetically modified genes of interest. However, they have not been assessed for health and environmental safety or nutritional value. The fact that genetical modification transformation process is artificial does not automatically make it undesirable or dangerous. Actually, it is the consequences of the procedure that give a concern. Now, at this point, you understand the whole procedure. It might sound more much of botanical, but that's the whole procedure that genetic engineers and breeders that all they go through to come up with a genetically modified uh, crops. Now, this series will continue. We shall look at the meat, we shall look at the truth, and also we shall look finally in our final sections that will come later on lessons that Kenya can learn from other countries such as South Africa that has implemented this system for over 10 or even 20 years. So make sure to stick around if you have any question on genetically modified crops or genetically modified organisms, the GMOs and GM ask. And in this month, we shall explore the genetically modified crops. The main aim is to identify the whole truth and try to learn. Hope to see you in the next or in the part two. Where we shall look now on the meats and dive more on genetically modified crops. Let us know your thoughts on genetically modified crops. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And also, spread the same word to other farmers. Remember, sharing is the best way that you can help us reach as many farmers as possible.